a very warm welcome to York Minster. What a time we're passing through. I can only imagine what COVID-19 means for you and those you love, for your neighbours and networks, perhaps for your business and livelihood. Be assured that we pray for you here, whatever you're facing. Throughout lockdown, Christians across the globe have continued to meet online for the most part, encouraging each other, praying for one another, and most importantly, with concern for their neighbours and communities, praying. And so it's a great joy for us today with a partial easing of restrictions to be speaking to you from the floor of York Minster. And over the next weeks and months, we will be putting up services and offerings, reflections, to encourage you. All those who live and work here hope and pray for this one thing, that you might be encouraged and strengthened in your life where you are. We've been encouraged by the response we've had to our online audio and visual offerings. We've had to learn new things as a team here, but so many have watched, thousands have been in touch through our website. And I'm delighted that you've made your way to York Minster in these strange times. The first service in what will be a series of services over the next month is our service for Ascension Day. This is the special day in the ca calendar of the church when we remember Jesus parting from his first disciples. They were sad and yet they remembered his promise that if he left them, he would then pour out his Holy Spirit upon them, that where he is, they also should be in heart and mind. There's a mystery about the ascension. Christ leaves to fill all things. So whether we're in lockdown or in wider life, whether we're anxious or afraid, whether things are going well and life is to be celebrated, Jesus' promise stands firm. He said he would be with us to the end of the age and in the coming of the Holy Spirit just days after ascension Jesus promise comes true Christians through the generations and here and now know that Jesus keeps to his word pouring out his Holy Spirit that where he is we may be and where are, we are he may accompany us. His promise is true. And so without more ado, I hand you over to my friends and colleagues, Canon Maggie and Canon Vicky, for our Ascension Day service. God bless you and keep you. Welcome to York Minster on this Ascension Day. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, for 40 days we have been celebrating with joyful heart the resurrection of our Lord, his bursting from the tomb and his defeat of the power of sin and death. He appeared to his disciples many times and told them about the kingdom of God. Today we recall how he left this earth and returned to his Father, ascending into heaven to take his throne over all dominions and powers. Trusting in his reign over all creation and submitting to his kingly yet loving rule, we, we hear again the story of his parting. 
a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, beginning at the fourth verse. While staying with the disciples, Jesus ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up towards heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Oh, clap your hands together, all ye people. Oh, sing unto God with a voice of melody. For the Lord is high and to be feared. He is the great King upon all the earth. He shall subdue the people under us. under our feet. He shall choose out an heritage for us, even the worship of Jacob, whom he loved. God is gone up with a many noise, and the Lord with the sound of the tongue. Sing praises, sing praises unto our God. Oh, sing praises, sing praises unto our King. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing ye praises with understanding. God reigneth over the sitteth upon his holy seat. The princes of the people are joined unto the people of the God of Abraham. For God, which is very high exalted, doth defend the earth as it were with a shield. Glory be to the Father to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. May I speak in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is great to be back in the Minster on this Ascension Day, with all its beauty in stone and in glass, a symbol and sign of God's presence, a building which has brought comfort to worshippers and to visitors over many centuries. It is a physical legacy of those who have gone before us in this place. 
and who wanted to say something very important about their beliefs and their values and give a glimpse of heaven to the people of their own day. On this Ascension Day, it is interesting to reflect that the Jesus of history left no physical legacy of himself. Yet it is because of the Jesus of history that this cathedral and indeed all churches have been built and speak not only of the Jesus of history, but the Christ of faith and a reminder to us that the Christ of faith is known primarily through the stories of the faith we share. And so it is a spiritual legacy that we keep this day, one formed and informed by the relationships of faith throughout the centuries, passed on by one Christian to another. The Jesus of history had confidence in the quality and the honesty of relationships formed, which would be sufficient to ensure a living memorial and not something that would simply be regarded as history. And part of that is how uncorrupted by the things around him that Jesus was. He remained faithful to his original intentions and kept his original values and would not be tempted away or succumb to misusing the power he received from God. The most that we can ever hope to do is to try and follow his example and remain faithful to him in who we are and our beliefs and how we live our lives. There is a saying that I quite like and often return to and it goes, I wish I could be what I was when I wanted to be what I am. I wish I could be what I was when I wanted to be what I am. A maxim about always remaining true to ourselves and our foundational motivations and not allowing ourselves to be corrupted along the way in order to achieve our own ambitions. Success is not measured solely by what is achieved, but also by the process of getting there and the quality of relationships formed along the way. Jesus left an important legacy, his spirit that lives and breathes through each and every one of us. My prayer this day is that we allow God's spirit to mature and grow within us, forming and informing us so that we can grow into the people that God wants us to be, people of integrity, people of truth, people who value above all else their relationship with the Christ of faith and how that is able to be shared with those we meet. Amen. Let us pray. Risen Christ, you have raised our human nature to the throne of heaven. Help us to seek and serve you, that we may join you at the Father's side, where you reign with the Spirit in glory, now and for ever. Amen.
Christ, our ascended King, pour upon you the abundance of his gifts and bring you to reign with him in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen.